My name is Tracy Edwards. I'm in eighth grade. Justin, my mentor, he like showed me a lot of things. He showed me how to be a, a better person. We've been working together now for a full year, and we've created a really nice bond. We cover things related to school, of course, and then we touch on some other things outside of school. Kids have a lot of things in their life they have questions about, and having other adults who support their families and help them realize their dream, that's what mentoring is all about. Mentor was founded based upon the premise that while you can have many organizations, you need a uniting force. Two, three, it's the what Jeff and Ray realized was that we needed a movement. When we started, there were only approximately 300,000 mentors in the nation, and we decided to come up with a structure that would embrace all those groups. We approached it like a business problem, and we created focus groups, and we ran around and first started to talk to the kids. And the function that I thought that we could provide was bringing the resources of a community together. The contribution that Mentor has made is to connect such an incredible, diverse set of programs all across the country in a way that it actually feels like a cohesive field. Everything we do are based off these core principles called the elements of effective practice. We have to have a way to measure quality and impact. Mentor as an organization has put some critical numbers behind the mentoring movement. We always want to know what the impacts are on children, and the outcome measures is national research that shows that mentoring does have an impact, and these are the practices that are needed to have effective outcomes. If you have one of our mentoring partnerships, one of our affiliates in your community, you have an expert in your community. You follow these elements of effective practice, you are running a high-quality mentoring program. The biggest challenge is there's so many students that need mentors, we have to turn away because we don't have enough mentors for them. It just makes you sad to think that there are tens of thousands of children who could say to you, I've not had a mentor, or I don't know where to look for a mentor. One of the greatest resources that Mentor brings us is the Mentoring Connector. If you want anybody to put in their zip code and find the mentoring program that you run in your community, it means having a website where they can do that. We could not, at the local level, create a database as broad and robust as Mentoring Connector. By bringing together a network of mentoring partnerships, we're able to learn together, to support each other. Mentor hosts an annual mentoring summit in Washington, D.C. You're getting to see organizations from across the country, an opportunity to share best practices, to be able to see how other people are doing things. It's incredibly important to have Mentor advocating for mentoring at the federal level. And we wouldn't have a seat at the table without this organization. Mentoring has now been implemented as a powerful tool, as a powerful bridge to lots of different things. A lot of our young people never get an opportunity to move outside of their current situations and circumstances, and so it gives them something to see that there's more to life than what's here in this particular community. A mentor is a coach. A mentor is a counselor. A mentor is also a challenger. I've had a mentor throughout every stage of my life. The relationships that are formed through the mentoring program are lifetime relationships. The work that Mentor has done to increase the number of people who consider being mentors and structure the elements of effective practice are key components that allow us to do what we do. We never expected it would be this successful. We've gone from 300,000 mentors in the nation to more than 4 million today. We still have a long, long way to go. We still have this one in three gap. You can make a difference. It takes a caring adult who is willing to invest in the lives of our young people. It's really that simple. Mentoring is giving a gift. That's a gift of your time. It's a gift of yourself. Every one of us has gifts to give. Most mentors say that they learn things about themselves. They learn things about what young people are facing. And they learn things about the power of their own presence. Our next challenge is to make mentoring part of our basic covenant to young people in America, that we can look around and say, there isn't a single kid in America who's traveling that road alone.